Hi, right, welcome everyone back to Let's Play SWAT 4. Last time, well, we took a second run at the Food Wall restaurant, and today we're going to the Fairfax residence. Uh, let's see. Why are we going to the Fairfax residence? Uh, looks like we're going after Lawrence Fairfax, as he is the number one suspect in a string of grisly homicides, according to the game. Maybe I should have the game do it for us. Central BCC to Adam Boy and Truck 1 on TAC 1. You won. Go ahead. You won. SWAT is needed for high-risk arrest, warrant service, and possible hostage rescue at 25 Glendive Lane, Bronx. Detective 39 Adam requests you respond quickly, but without lights and sirens. Suspect is wanted on multiple homicide and kidnapping charges. Suspect is a potential serial offender, likely to have a hostage victim inside. Suspect is believed to be mentally unstable. Expect erratic and dangerous behavior. You won, Roger. Show us en route. ETA, driving time. Get ready, men. This is a tough one. Our target, Lawrence Fairfax, is the number one suspect in a string of grisly homicides. A bit of review. Over the last year and a half, seven women, all of them studying at the State University, disappeared. Their remains, showing signs of torture and dismemberment, reappeared anywhere from a week to three weeks later. The killer was careful. The task force forensic team was unable to get a useful DNA match from any of the bodies. That changed with the most recent find. Another victim was located earlier this morning by a local laborer. Some of the DNA scrapings from her nails match one of the men being investigated by the task force, Lawrence Fairfax. There's a complication. Another student, Melinda Klein, went missing sometime around 2000 on October 18th. That was six days ago. If Fairfax has her, and if he's following the profile, chances are good she's still alive. Rescuing her is your first priority, which is why we're going in with no warning. About our suspect, Fairfax is employed as a temporary carpenter and works off and on at the university. No police record. But court records show a pair of expired restraining orders against him. He's been suspended from a recent job site for stealing supplies. Fairfax's co-workers don't say much about him. He keeps to himself. He's been at the law library multiple times. Most notably on the days before the disappearance of three of our victims, including Melinda Klein. A police interview with him was inconclusive. But the detective responsible did acquire a DNA sample from a used tissue. Fairfax was seeing a psychiatrist when he was laid off. We've been unable to access his records. The psych warned us that Fairfax may have fortified his living areas. Be alert for traps, especially in spaces only Fairfax uses. He lives with his mother, Gladys Fairfax. She's a recluse, and due to health problems, rarely leaves the house. We don't have reason to believe she's involved, but stay on your toes. Fellas, Seconds may be the difference between life and death for Melinda Klein. Study the layout, choose your gear, and get moving. Alright, so after that long briefing, uh, here's uh, the layout as he suggested we should study. This house has a two-bedroom, one-bath, split-level residence. Many of the houses in this neighborhood are the same type. Our layout is based on neighboring houses of the same style this, and should be accurate for level one. The basement, on the other hand, it might be a harder time. Now, we're gonna go with a slightly different weapon. We're gonna bring the suppressed MP5 to try and keep our entry a little quieter. We're still gonna stick with the 1911. I, I will show off the other weapons. We have a taser. It's pretty useless to be honest. It's a one-shot taser. In the Stetchkov Syndicate expansion, which I will be getting to after I'm done with this campaign, you get a better taser, as far as I'm aware. So, yeah. And then you got the uh, Glock 19, I believe this is? Might be the Glock 17, I don't remember. And then you got the good old 1911, which is a personal favorite of mine uh, for many years personal favorite gun of mine, so that's why we're carrying it. I'm gonna rock the suppressed MP5 to try and keep stuff quiet. Uh... I don't think we'll need any wedges for this one, so... Yeah. Let's get started. Three 
29 Adam, this is Central BCC. Adam, Boy, and Truck 1 responding to 25 Glendive Lane for high risk warrant service. Alright, we got the van, we just parked up in their house. Uh. I'm gonna look under, just. We don't have any snipers, do we? Oh, we do have a sniper. Alright, I don't see anyone inside. Gold, regroup on me. Locked. Huh? At your back, sir. Well, let's get the pick out. Don't want to make any noise if we can. So the suppressed MP5. Shock, this is entry team. We're in the house and continuing on. That's right, Lisa. Roger that. According Proceed police, with caution. Another female body was discovered this morning. It is believed that this young woman is also a victim of the so-called law school lyncher. According to our sources, the police are completely stumped and have no leads at this time. Yes, we're completely stumped. That's how they'll know it until tonight's over. Alright, uh, looks pretty clear in there. Hmm. Paranoid, are we? I don't see how that thing can actually pick a lock, but hey. Whatever that is. Bunch of rats, it looks like. Creepy basement, check. Creepy rat cages, check. Let me actually go and close these doors. If we had a wedge, I might consider actually wedging that. We want to keep everyone inside if we can. Let's hope uh, the mother... Uh, that we talk, uh, that was talked about in the briefing, actually stays. Doesn't actually spook us. Actually, I think we're technically. That's a camera right there. Okay, we don't want to go there. He probably knows we're here now if he's paying attention. Right. That's a thing. Get in position. Check the door. On it, sir. It's locked. Locked, huh? I don't feel good about this. Not one bit. Pick it. Pick it. Unlocking it. Down here with a water heater. It's unlocked. Shall we make a little bit of noise? Open and clear. UCS. Go, go, go! No visible threats. Ready for trailers. Jackson. Area clear. This position. Clear. This is disgusting. Yeah. Reynolds. Area clear. I hear moaning. That moaning must come down range. Oh crap! Here. Suspect. Suspect injured. Entry team to talk. Injured suspect secure and ready for transport. Roger that. Trailers and EMTs are standing by. You shot Gerard! That's not creepy in the slightest. Gas and clear. Right on. Let's move! So far, so good. Moving forward. Trailers. Clear. Oh, clear. clear. Holy Sigmund Freud. Oh, hey. 
Talk, this is entry team. Civilian is injured, but... Talk, this is entry team. We found an unidentified female victim in need of medical assistance. Uh, Roger. Notifying EMTs. Keep us informed. Stack up and check the lock. Oh, we're done Got here. Me. We brought Got order it. to chaos. It's just open. Open it. Go when ready. Move it! Go! 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 No visible threats. Trailers, continuing on. Gerard, we're in clear. position. Clear. Jeez, man. Thank God. Police, on your knees! You found me. Uh-huh. Is this really happening? Yes. Entry team. You found Entry team me. to talk. We found Melinda Thank Klein. God. She's gonna be okay. Roger on the good news, Entry Team. We'll notify our family. Now, I think sometimes he the suspect I he I was actually expecting him to be in here. I was gonna flashbang him. Behind me. Yeah. Whatever this in position. Whatever this is. Oh, he's still making noise. Continue. Right, now we gotta deal with this. Oops. <laughs> Wrong door. Stack up. Try the lock. I got it. Yeah, well, we made a little Door noise. Door is unlocked. Good, good. Get her open and clear it. Move it! Go! No visible threats. Trailers, let's go! It's clear. In position? It's clear. clear. Hmm. Stack up and check the lock. Copy that. How dare you come in here? Police! Put your hands up! Unlocked. Now you got this all wrong. On Lawrence your knees. Put your hands fly. up and get down. I said on your knees. Out of my house, you. Police, get down now. You get down. Right hands in the air. In Go here. there. Roger. <laughs> Police, <laughs> get down now. Hands in the air. Get, get down. Drop the flashbang. Out of my house, you. Throw a flashbang. Hands up. Police, on your knees. At a lady. Well, that's the thing. We actually would have uh, we would have cleared that if we were playing on hard difficulty. We had a score of eighty-seven. We incapacitated Lawrence. Uh, we did get an officer injured. I didn't get injured though, so that's five points for us. There's only one suspect. I believe there can be more than one. I think there can be up to three, maybe? Maybe only two. But he did kind of spook me. I was getting ready to look under the door when he walked in on my face. So next time, we'll be moving on to the next mission. I will see you then.